hi guys welcome to today's session and today we are going to discuss about the quad grouping and uh, its relation with india so in this session we will see the formation of quad and also the challenges uh, with regard to quad and also significance of quad uh, for india and also a brief analysis about this topic so that's how i plan this uh, session let's now start the quad or quadrilateral security dialogue is an informal setup of australia india japan and united states that are the four countries in quad grouping and this grouping aims to strengthen the defense and security cooperation among these four countries and the idea was originally conceived in 2007 by former japanese prime minister shinzo abe and it was proposed to check china's growing influence and assertiveness in the indo-pacific Indo region and in december 2012 shinzo abe again floated the concept of asia's democratic security diamond involving australia india japan and us to safeguard the maritime commons from the indian ocean to western pacific and in november 2017 India, US, Australia and Japan gave shape to long pending quad coalition uh, to develop a new strategy to keep the critical sea routes in the Indo-Pacific free of any influence especially China. So that is about the formation of uh, quad and uh, now we will see the challenges uh, of quad for India. First and foremost the non-alignment. India is abandoning its sacred tradition of non-alignment in favor of a military alliance with the US in order to counter the Chinese threat. So that is uh, first and foremost a challenge to India and uh, another one is trustworthiness of US that is at present the political discourse in Washington is hostile to alliance making. Thus, any military alliance offered by US may not uh, translate into reality. So there have been previous examples as well as for that, like uh, US never involved militarily with Pakistan after 1954 bilateral security agreement in its conflicts with India. So the, trust the trustworthiness of US is under question. and the us military alliances with japan and the philippines has not provided any challenge to chinese aggression in the region so these keeping all these in mind the trustworthiness of us is under question so and that is a challenge for us and also india in the recent years china's violation of international norms particularly its construction of military facilities on reclaimed islands in the south china sea and its growing military and economic power pose a strategic uh, challenge to india and considering this st chinese uh, strategic importance india is carefully balancing china on one hand and the us on the other so by remaining uh, committed to strategic autonomy to china which has generally proved reassuring to china so that is uh, another challenge for india uh these are all uh, these all are uh, the significance uh, or um, important challenges there are several others i am not mentioning uh, that all uh, we have time constraint also and uh, now we will see the significance of quad for india so how significant is this grouping uh, for india so india has taken a significant turn its uh, in its policy for the subcontinent by joining the quad grouping it provides uh, india a powerful platform to advance its interest in the east asia and also it will deepen india's ties with us and australia and also with japan and with the benefits in diplomatic leverage and sharing the burden of uh, burden in defense and uh, this will provide india significant chance in shaping us policies in afghanistan pakistan uh, to benefit or uh, to the benefit of india and also it will provide a powerful platform to advance indian interest in the region and strengthen the activist policy of ours and it will uh, it hope uh, that uh, it will foster uh, economic growth with better market adaptation so it will lead uh, to more employment and opportunities in india 
and this uh, group this uh, quad grouping helps uh, india and other three nations to counter uh, china's one belt one road initiative as india is refused to join obor uh, it helps uh, india to connect with other markets like uh, central asia and uh, south east asian markets so that are the uh, major significance uh, of quad for india now we'll uh, wind up this session with a short brief analysis the quad will need to have a clearer vision for itself it is important for the members of the quad not to be reactive it is also important to exhibit openness and ensure that all talk of a free and open indo-pacific is more than just a mere slogan so this has to be implemented at the earliest and india japan and australia can take uh, the lead in infrastructural projects while the us too needs to be more proactive in pushing ahead the vision of connectivity and the quad should focus on building a robust regional consultation mechanism and coordinate with asian uh, asean nations on issues of uh, regional importance and the quad framework derives its geopolitical validation from india's association and presents a unique opportunity for india to be an active participant in shaping regional security architecture with global undertones so these all are the points to be uh, considered uh, when moving forward with regard to uh, the quadrilateral security uh, grouping or uh, the quadrilateral security dialogue otherwise called as quad so that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another topic uh, and uh, thank you for watching this lesson